Happy Easter from four boys and girls. So today I would like to go through the classwork chapter 10.4 that I gave you before. So I would like to say that about this classwork, okay? So what you need to do is just you have to keep in mind what we learned in chapter 10.4 is that the arc and the angles are corresponding to the same proportion. Why do we say so? Because if you still remember, we say actually angles and the arc actually can be the same thing. So if I compare the different angle, you can just compare the different arcs because they should have the same proportion. The same proportion we say the same ratio. So what you need to do is to get this idea and also what all the properties you've learned before to do your work. For example, just like the question fifteen in this question. For example, the question fifteen. If I want to compare the arc A, B, and B, C. So what we need to do is just you have to take the corresponding angles to these two arcs. For example, when we say A, B, arc, you can take the angle A, C, B, and B, C, arc, you can take the B, A, C to compare. Then you can get all the things very, very easily. If I like the question seventy B, this question, if I want to compare the arc A, B, and C, D, whether they're equal or not, so what we need to do is just you take the angles. For example, A dot dot and C boy dot for arc A, B, and arc C, D to say they're equal. If they're equal, so equal. Not equal, not equal. Very easy. And also like the question nineteen, this question, okay. Now you can see if you have two arcs, okay, they have an overlapped region. For example, you can see here A, C is overlapped, so you can just ignore this part to get. The, the remaining part for example B C and A dot then you can say that you equal then you can also have the corresponding angle is equal then you can get everything for example once the angle is equal inside the triangle you can also know that the length is equal just like here B why you have got this angle you can got the length because you can use the isosceles triangle property sizes opposite equal angles here to say that you equal so you can see it within the whole homework it is very easy even when we talk about the question twenty like this one. So you can see for the question 28, what you need to do is that now the three angles are within inside the triangle. So you can say the angles, okay, is in 2 to 3 to 4. So you can say the whole, which is the angle sum of the whole triangle, should have the ratio of 9, which is from 2 plus 3 plus 4. Then you can easily find each angle by using the method you learned in form 2. Finding the part from the whole, 2 over 9. The part ratio over the whole ratio times the whole sum for some of your t. Then you can get easy for some of this one four degrees. Then you can actually do all the things, including the B1, which is the you further divide the angle into such a ratio. Then you can actually find the angle first by using ratio, and then you use ratio one more time to get the angle you want. So it's very easy, okay? So I strongly suggest you read. All the solutions once again after you finish the work and read my solution and to see whether you really have problem. If you think oh all the things are the same as mine, then you have no problem. Then you can just skip it and then go to the next chapter. Okay. So before I really okay want to what well, I really want to talk about this one, so I will give you one more time the summary of this chapter. So do remember is that about the chapter ten we actually learn circle. Of geometry, the geometry of circle. That means that we have to learn all the geometric properties about circle. And do remember is that in this chapter we focus on two things. The first one is the cos. Second is the angles or uh, the angles. But do remember is that angles and us are po are related to each other. So we say angles and us are actually the same thing. Is the second part. For the first part, when we talk about the cos, so always keep in mind that when we talk about cos, we will say what it is actually talking about that. The line, okay, the line segment inside the circle, and the line segment comes from two points on the circle. So because actually, okay, when we say when we say what well, when we say a chord of the circle, you can easily form what form an iso triangle. For example, we say the chord here. So actually, you can always join the two end points to the center. Then you can have the iso triangle. Because you can know that these two lengths are radar, so they should be the same. So that means that actually when we talk about the cord, you should always keep in mind that all the roots about our triangles should also obey in cord in circle. Okay? For example, you will have the property of right angle, perpendicular, we say perpendicular bisector, and also we have the equal distance. If I know A, B, and C they are the same, so because these two triangles will become congruent to each other, congruent. That means that all the things will become the same, including the distance between the center to the core. Okay, very easy. But here I would like to give you a note. Is that 
when we talk about chores, when we talk about how do you find the length of the cord. So what you need to do is just you have to remember is that we may lead to use the the skill that we learned in form two. For example, in this triangle where we say the radius R is R and we'll say the angle AOB here for example is theta. So how can we find the L? So it's not easy. But what we need to do is that you have to divide the triangle into two equal parts. For example, now I divide OA to the midpoint of AB, for example, is M. So we can fo focus on this triangle because this triangle would give you such a thing is that the hypotenuse would be R, this is still the right angle, and the length AM would become the okay, becomes the cot over 2. For example, when we say the cot is L, so we have L over 2 here, and this one you have V over 2. So you should have the relation is that when we multiply R by sorry it should not be sine theta over two as it is sine theta over two here because you can use what you can use opposite side theta over two here is opposite to the L over two so we say sine theta over two will becomes opposite side over the R so when R is multiplied here so you have this then after that then if you rearrange it you have this one so you will have the cord length actually is two R times sine feet over 2. That means that what you need to do is to take half of your angle, sine it, and then you multiply with 2 and R. That is very easy to get the what? You get the, okay, the cut length here. So it's very easy. But do remember is that this one, okay, when we talk about 2R, sine feet over 2, this relation. So don't mix up with this. Don't mix up with this. That means that this one is not equals to R sine feet. Because some of you may think, oh, Mr. Wong, can we just cancel the 2 here? The answer is no. You cannot just cancel the 2. No, 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 no. Because you should take the angle half first and then you sign it. After you have signed the angle, the proportion will not be conserved. Or be not be conserved. So please remember, take the angle half first and then sign it. So because you have sine function here, that means that proportion would not okay here. So that's why, why do we have no chord proportion as we mentioned in the last clip this is because of the function sign here so keep in mind this important relation that you may use for solving chord length inside the circle so after the chord also i would like to give you the summary about the circle also uh, about the angles also so do remember is that when we talk about the angles and arcs so what we need to do is that for the angle and arcs is very easy so i just recall once again is that when we talk about the circle, okay, no matter how large is the circle, so I may just define the radius of the circle is R, then do remember is that we will always say, okay, the angles, okay, between the two radar towards the center should be corresponding to the arc length of these two points. Because you can just imagine that the angle actually, how large is it, that means how wide, okay, would be the two legs okay opens or the, the two leg open so actually how large or how wide is the two leg open you just like the length of the arc that means that you should expect that if you make the leg make it more wider for example just like here is wider so you should expect that this angle for example I mark it in green should be also have the larger arc length and they should be proportional because it's just like you go to us here so actually we will say that the arc and angles are actually corresponding to each other so because of this then actually you have some properties for example if you still remember that we have a very important property is that the angle at the center should be okay should be twice of the angle okay of the circumference from the same arc so always remember this important property and because we have this property that means that we will also have another property is that from the same arc for example this one all the angle at the circumference will become equal okay because this one is just the angle in the same segment it works but actually just means they have coming from the same arc here so also with this one and also you have to understand is that we will also have the proportional relation it means that if you have the arc with such a proportion for example when we say this one is n and uh, sorry this one is not n oh sorry i think that i should write it better for example here uh, this one I should not say this one is n because n is not good here for example I say I simply say this length for example it is in theta and alpha then we will say this alpha arc 
no matter how you draw the angle at circumference, you will also have the alpha also because alpha to alpha, so theta to theta, just like this. So actually, this is what you learned in this chapter. In chapter 11, the first part, we will also learn more about angles and arc first, okay? Because there will be also one very important property that you will use in DSC that you need to learn about angles. It's called the psychic quadrilateral. So we will introduce in the next chapter. And also in the next chapter, we will have to learn more to learn one more thing. It's called a tangent, not psycho side tangent. It is another thing, the tangent of a circle. And for the tangent of a circle, you should also have some properties here. So you may just, okay, read or prepare for the next chapter first during the holiday. After the holiday, we will start the online lesson, so we will continue to talk about the chapter 11. So please prepare. So because of this, uh, I would like to leave the Easter homework for you to do within this weekend. Okay, within this weekend. So this homework, I suppose that you can finish with before Monday, the next Monday. That means the 20th of April. And then in the 22nd, 22nd, double two of April, you will have your first online lesson after the Easter holiday. So please stay tuned. But do remember, okay, so try to do this 11 question. So you may see, oh, there are so many questions here, but actually you don't need to spend a lot of time to do it. Actually, okay, if you do it slowly, I think that you can do within one hour. But please be noticed this important question 29, because 29 is rather challenging, okay? So this one is rather challenging, so you may need to spend more time to do. Don't worry, if you do, really don't know how to do this question, I will check with you. Don't worry. So try to do this 11 question. And happy Easter. Stay healthy. Goodbye.